Cyberbullying is online behaviour that is hurtful and done on purpose. Cyberbullying can happen in lots of different ways. We see it over text messages, by email, in online games, or on social media platforms such as Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and TikTok. The following story is an example of how cyberbullying can take place and what we should do about it. So let's have a look. Orla loves playing online games after she has finished her homework. In fact, she looks forward to it all day. When she finishes football training, she gets half an hour to play online with her friends. Orla's mum has noticed that recently Orla isn't interested in playing her usual game with her friends. You see, for the past few weeks when Orla played games online, one of the older girls from the year above started calling her names over text messages and purposefully excluded her from the games. This made Orla feel left out, sad and disappointed. She enjoyed seeing who could get the best score and having a laugh with her friends. So when Orla's mum realised that she wasn't playing online lately, she decided to ask Orla about it. At first Orla was embarrassed to tell her mum what had happened, but she realised that it is best to talk about these things with someone you trust. Once she spoke to her mum, Orla realised that the older girl had been repeatedly excluding her and name calling, which had discouraged her from playing online with her friends. Orla's mum explained that these are signs of cyberbullying and that Orla did the right thing by talking to her about it. Orla and her mum worked together to report this online behaviour and made sure the older girl could no longer be mean behind her screen. From this story we can see how sometimes we can be intimidated by cyberbullying behaviour, but that the best thing to do is talk to a parent, an older sibling, or even a teacher if you or someone you know is being cyberbullied. If you notice cyberbullying online, you should talk to a friend, save the messages, report the cyberbullying, and tell a trusted adult. We all have the power to stop the spread of cyberbullying by working together to be kind and respectful of others online. Well done. You have completed today's lesson on Don't Be Mean Behind Your Screen of the Sticks and Stones project. Why not check out some other activities you will find in this interactive infographic? Go on, click some QR codes now.